akasema yani kwa mimi sitakuwa na yani mimi nikuzalia mtu mwingine so akasema ni sitakuwa nafanya nini sitamweka mimba sisi zake atakuwa na mwanga wapi chini Mungu akaona hivyo akafanya nini akaamua sasa kaka kijana kadogo alikuwa akajamea Juda akamwambia kocha huyu kijana aguru nitakupatia Biblia inatuambia Mungu ana kusoma lakini Juda akaokopa akasema na huyu akikufa je So wakati kijana alikuwa mkubwa akumpatia kumpatia tamari tamari akapiga historia akaona huyu jamaa afanye nini alipatia mtoto akasikia wakati Daud David ubibi yake alikuwa amekufa sasa alikuwa amemona eh, Juda akatoka akaenda na huyu rafiki yake anaitwa Hiran sasa kwa mimi marafiki unakaa na wao wanatitami what you will do. Akasema acha tuende kwa Mungu tutembee kidogo. Tamari akagundua, akatoa hilo vazi lake za wito. Walikuwa wanavaa mavazi kumaanisha wewe ni mburaka. Akarusi yake hiyo mburaka. Akaweke yaka kama kuna prostitute. Akaenda akachotea hisa pata hilo. Ndio. Pata hilo tu dana na na kale. Atamwa mtu tatuko nini? Botoko Aga <laughs>
na yuko imekubalika kuona kama kanaanite Mungu akafanya kizazi kikaisha akaenda kulala na jota ilo wake na wakati alishika mimba huyu wa kwanza alikuwa anataka kutoka Mungu akatekeleza Perez akawa wa pili ndiye amuokolee kizazi cha Juda So hata shetani akipinga aje Mungu atatengeneza njia kwa ajili yako Aka kijaribu kuua kile ambacho amekusudia. So yule mtoto mwenye alikuwa mtoto wa kwanza aliwa pili huko alitengeneza penis kumaanisha huyu wa kwanza ni wa nguvu yako lakini huyu wa pili ni wangu. Because first born walikuwa anahesabiwa kama nguvu ya mzazi. Ndio unasikia wakati Jacob I bless watoto wake alisema Ruben my strength. So na kitu unapata mtoto wa kwanza ndiye alikuwa anachukua baraka ama kuinherit kitu yoyote ya baba yake. Sawa sawa. Mnashika hiyo maneno. Yes. So wakati Mungu anataka kutengenezea hata sheria itakuzungumzia. Amen. Amen. Atakisema hizo ni atafa anachukua Jacob Mungu atamtengenezea njia. Hata Zera akisema ni mimi nafaa kukuja kwa kwanza kwani anasema hapana. Strength yenu ulifanya nimekupatia Zera but nimejitengenezea Perez. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Nataka ni kuambie tu daripiko kutoka mwanzo. Yesu akikuja kusema ya prevent. Au utakuwa unasema bure. Hata wewe at the end of the day unasema finally I have prevailed. Amen. So umepoki Adam. Na ndio unaona hata wakati Sara na Abraham walimtoto apata mtoto. Mungu alianza na strength zao zikakuta Ismail. Aisha kidia kakamu. Sasa misikotika mistake Mungu yuko. Usiji huko. Strength yako. Take Hata kwa kitu kile umefanya kwa nguvu zako na ukafei wait ya Mungu inakuja. Amen. <laughs> ya Mungu inakuja. Amen. Sasa nataka nikuonyeshe vile Perez alikuja. Still tuna story ya David. Tuje Ruth. Ruth 418. Lakini kama tena habari ukilia sirit. Ni sawa. Mhm. Tayo. Na habari ukilia moro na kidevi dia sitokutoka na kibono tuoja kwa nora na ilu tuwana utoka na utoka after judges hmm? ok Ruth mwanyoli Ruth chapter 4 verse 18 usu wakwana mwana peres now these are the generations of nani Ezron. Ezron father Ram. Ram father Amnadab. Amnadab father Nahashon. Nahashon father Salmon. Salmon father Boaz. Boaz father Obad. Obad father Jesse. And Jesse father David. Isn't it just being happy? Is that being happy? The devil can only delay you. But kwa sababu ya dhambi ya baba yake Juda kutoka mwanzo. So ilaanda ilianda mpaka kizazi cha kumi. Ndio maana Mungu anakuja kusema I have found a man after my own heart. It is from this tribe of Juda I have been looking for a man who will reign. Sawa? Lakini kwa sababu ya dhambi zao na shetani anawakoroga wameoa wanawake wamekatazwa wamefanya nini? Nilichoprovidea parents And out of that parents, I will count up to seven generations. Alafu nitapata mtu ambaye ako after my own heart. Umeshika sasa? So hapo ndio David alipatikana na wakati David alikuwa zaliwe ndio unaona shetani akaleta mzunguko, mama yake akakataliwa na mama yake kwa kuokozwa na Mungu akagibi na akashika mimba ya David alikuwa afungiwe. And we are to tell you what can stop you. Amen. Nothing can stop you. Hakuna sheria ya kisi ya kufungia. Hakuna tradition za kwamba wakisia tufanya itakuzuia. God will make a way for you. He can only delay you but he cannot stop. Amen. Amen. Sasa mwelewa hiyo story. David hapo sasa ndiye alikuja akapatikana. Amen. Nakwambia kutoka Genesis mpaka Revelation ni Mkristo tu. Hizo mtu zote wa kina Joseph mfano wa Kristo tu. 
Akaenda iti ya utumu waka uzu wa hitu wali kuja pa duniani. Thesemu wa kutuka mkata, sisi wana israeli waka waka mkata, waka msurupisha, waka fanya, haka tuokoa na bada haka walika kwa mesa yake. Iyo yote ni mfano wa kristu. So kielewa kristu kwa kile jambo, utajua you have already prevailed because you have been born out of him. Amen. So that's when David alikuja kupatikani. Na akapewa mafuta sasa. Na nataka ni kuambi mafuta ya lafunjanga nira. So ata kama umetoka katika hii ukua ya juda, nataka sasa ni kupatie mafuta. Na ya mafuta ya tafunja. So hakuna lana, hakuna kitu kita kufuata, ni nini ni mekutafuta na ni mekupata amana after my own heart. Jana ni uambia, yesu wana tuambia, you did not choose me. I chose you so that you will bear fruits and the fruits that will remain. Tuna kwambia matuno yako ya tabaki. Wana asifiwe. Muna barikiwa? Yes. So hata wewe hitu zimekuwa zika kufrustrate. Ni kile ya kikondani yako. Ni wakati isu wa sama, this is my begotten child. Haka litiwa tutewe. Haka temutiwa on the same way. Kama wewe ni mwana wa mungu. Sitani na sikienga vibari. Ati kama wewe ni mtumisi wa mungu mbona haya pasi ya na kutendeki. Nisitani na kuliza hini. Kama wadienda mbuna mbona haya jaisha. Shetani, hata kuliza Because kile kimenono juu yako Ndiyo kina muwasha This is my son Ati kama hali ni mwana subadishi mkata Kama we ni mwana Yani papa unawono usito ni mtumishu wa mungu tena Kama we ni mtumishu wa mungu Kama we ni mtumishu wa mungu Kama we ni mtumishu wa mungu Kama we ni mbaki kuchu wa juti Kama mtu wa mekuthi yaki Usiti yaki kristu Amen If people have betrayed you, do not betray the church. Kama wali kukata wu usikatai kristu. Tetea kristu. Usipatikane kikundi ya wale ukabisa nibani. Usipatikane kwa hiyo kikundi. Ni waha watu wa wajui, lakini wewe ni wa church bani. Usisekene kabisa nibani ya kristu. Yuhu ni muke wa kristu. Anatha tetea muke wake. Kabisa ni muke wa kristu. Hallelujah. So, David wakati alikuwa na mungu, alikuwa nataka ku divide the kingdom. And divide kingdoms into two. We had the kingdom of Judah, and we had another kingdom ya South ya Israel. Unaelewa? So mungu wa nifanya Dawudi, haka mtenga. Sawa sawa, ahili aweze kuongoza kiungu. Wakati wa isema tunataka sula nefu, the God haka found a man who will follow him. Mwenye haka onyeshana. Because being a king, you are also portraying, ama unajionyesha dunia, how God reigns. So through David, God reigned to show us that there is someone who will come from this tribe, who will establish the kingdom. His governance will be on his shoulder. So, hata wakina Dawudi ni mfani. Hallelujah. Ndiyo mana Yesu wa Yisama katika kukwa ya revelation that I have the keys of David. So, David ya mwenye alikuwa na sema ni kona Yesu fungoza Dawudi. Na kile nitafunga, kitakuwa kimefungua. Na kile nitafungua, kitakuwa kimefunguriwa. Na mdumu umezaliwa katika uzao. You have that power to shut things and to open things. Akambia Peter, I will give you keys of the kingdom. Whatever you will shut, will be shut. And whatever you will release or open, will be open. Now, you must have to talk. Now, you must have to talk. You must have to talk. You must have to talk. But if you know who you are, I know. Sindio, you must have to talk. I know who I am. Sindio, what do you want to talk about? So you do just sit down there. No one has to talk and come and join me. Who? Who is God here? I do a comma. I am a child of God. I am an Israelite. Ni kona covenant na mu akauliza. Oh, you who feel this way are not here. You are. In another way, you are here with Abraham. You will make covenant na God. You will talk and talk and talk with Abraham. We have a covenant with God. We will just here. We have a covenant. Who are you? Who are you? Na katika New Testament, roo wabwana ndi utahili wa waroo wetu. Amen. Roo wabwana ametutahili roo zetu. So mtu mwenye hana kano na mungu wana kutisha what? They don't have the Holy Spirit, wanatumia to witchcraft. Na wana kutingiza. Si mama usema, I have the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. Tote utoke kama Dawood, unasema, who are you and circumcised Philistine? Wano ujatahili wata unakano. How dare you? Unaokea juu ya wana wa mungu. How can you talk about us? We can only judge ourselves. We can't be judged. The world cannot condemn us. We can only judge ourselves as Christians. The world cannot judge us. How come you talk over us? So, we shindaki shetani, 
kwa sauti kubwa authority si sauti kubwa uh-huh. authority ni mafuta na nguvu iliyo katika maneno amen hata nikisema receive hiyo tu mafuta yanafungua mtu si toka ati ndio kwa authority mhm hiyo ni makelele hiyo ni makelele so ni wewe ujue maneno yangu yana uzito maana nimepewa mamlaka nikisema pokea unapokea katika jina la Yesu Kristo nikisema funguliwa unafunguliwa nimepewa hiyo mamlaka niko na agano na Mungu roho Mungu ndani yako anatibitisha mimi ni mwana wa Mungu when i speak heaven will listen to me now Medea alikuwa na madhaimu fulani, madhaimu wangu alikufa. Wakati alikuja wangu Nairobi. <laughs> so alikuwa naomba, na alikuwa naomba akiambia Mungu, anaitwa Yusabia. Anasema, "Mungu, ni nini Yusabia ni angweso? Niko hapa Nairobi nimekaa kiti ya mwisho hapo kwa mtoto wangu." Yaani alikuwa yaani ni kesi kwa da so Mungu start calling because before the foot ya mshaji tunasema mimi ninaitwa Judith Kerongo niko Mount Carmel sasa bwana unaona nimeshika hii microphone hapa side hii vipi unaelewa so God atafutalia too is that when you call her, Jesus and the spirit bears a witness that such a child of God amen a child of God is amen. God amen ukisema hallelujah nasema a child of God has declared something Shida ni wana wa Mungu they don't see anything. Na jana tujaambiwa let the redeemed of the Lord say so. What are you saying? Sema kwa mwenyeza sema utesiki. Badisha. Sema kile wana wa Mungu wanasema. Who is this and circumcised for this time? Sema mimi nimebarikiwa. I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. Amen. I will not beg. Amen. They may gather on my account but Mungu anasema si mimi niliwatuma as soon as they gather they scatter as soon as they gather they do what they scatter na sasa hii wakati tu kwa wakati wa old testament saa hii hata wata frustrate kwa sababu anakwambia nimekupatia hizo pao unagundua hii ni ni nyoka crash the head of the serpent kanyaka Unasema mimi hapa nitaingia na ita nidhuru. Mimi ni mwana wa Mungu. Hapo ndio Yesu wetu alitoka. Sasa ukikuja kusoma Mathi inakupatia genealogy. Ndio Yesu alipatikana. Sasa Yesu akakuja hapa revelation anakuja kutuambia the one from the root of the tribe of Judah he has prevailed. Hebu tuende niwarudishe Samuel huko mwisho alafu ndio tuombe sasa. Genesis again. Now we're not getting there yet. Hallelujah. Let us tell you place where Jacob blessed his son, son. Hmm? For tonight. For tonight 8. Sa. Mkipata mseme hallelujah. Mimi kujua mtoto wa Mungu amesema kitu Mefika. What does the Bible say? Judah, your brothers shall praise you. Vile tu aliitwa praise. Mmesikia? So ana majina mnaita watoto. Wacha kwa majina mazuri. Alimuita praise na Mungu akakuja confirm na babake, your brothers will praise you. Ndio maana mimi naitwa Judy. Judy also means praise. Hallelujah. Alama sema your hand shall be on the neck of your enemies. Haki. Yaani wewe umetengenezwa tu shetani anakuja na kamata. Your hand will be on the neck of your enemies. Your father's son shall bow down before you. Judah is a lion is cub. Simba. From the pre my son you have gone up. He stopped down and he crouched as a lion. Scale nyingine and as a lioness who dares roast him in another way yani you can't roast him yani mbebe so you know the bia simba hata simba akiki akuja jaribu kumha roast kwa kwa kumsimamisha tu wafanye mapenzi na yeye kama lion anajisikia jisikia analia ndiye anarudi he doesn't he arudi wiki 
about we we. Hallelujah. In another, Judah, we will see what school and a mambo, not school my mambo. Amen. Mesquia, we are the Baba Yaka and I'm here. I love to say the scepter shall not depart from Judah. They will be what? The scepter shall not depart from Judah. Nor the ruler staff from between his feet. Until tribute comes to him, and to him shall be the obedience of the people. Until to the one that it has spoken to, until Christ when you are not because we were in Fano to, until to whom that it has been attributed to. So at the way we go happen to represent the one that has been attributed to. If you are healing the people, if you are doing things, if God is blessing you, if God has lifted you, is there to give who? To the one that who has been attributed. So, so Judah Alishi Ivio. Now you know that Judah is to talk about the first Chronicles, second Chronicles, it talks about the kingdom of Judah. It talks about many things. After we can't tell you what I'm gonna and a people of Vita, Unaskiaga. Kuna mahali Joseph atakiwa king aliambiwa ya kwamba nyinyi tangulieni muimbe tu tawashindia vitakumaanisha Judah nilikuchagua usiokope chochote ambacho kinakuja kwako nitakuongoza kwa roho wangu ndio sadikira mtu akabuka atakupatia uimba akwambie huo uimba na ukiimba mapepo yanatoka tu na ukiimba vitu zingine zinaisha tu si kila kitu utaombea zingine atakwambia ni wakati wa watu utoe madadabiu na ukipia unaongoza tu na roho na ukifanya mambo fulani yatakuondokea so Judah ata wakati alisahau wakati wa Isaya wakasema hey watu wame hata watu watu wengine wakatoka Israeli wakaungana na maadui wale kupiga the tribe of Judah Isaya akatumwa akaambia hebu muambie ya kwamba hawatafaulu hata wameungana kinyume na wao hawatafaulu maana Judah nina mpango na Judah hapo ndio mwokozi atatoka they may try to come against you but they will not Take care of everything that pertains to me. Amen. So, Leo, 